This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. Hello, Megan Toms with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. In-person classes, they are canceled today for high schoolers at Basis Scottsdale after vandals shattered dozens of windows on campus this week. This all happened at around 3 p.m. on Sunday at their building off 128th Street in Shea. School officials say two kids allegedly spent 90 minutes using rocks to smash the windows to the gym, at least eight classrooms and to the front lobby. Nearly 30 windows in all surveillance cameras caught the two vandals on video. We are blurring their faces because they are minors. The school says this type of crime has happened to them twice already, and they believe it's all related. We believe it's the same two students that are two kids that have done this. Uh, we don't have them as students at our school, so we're also going to be working with the local uh, middle schools and elementary schools and sharing those pictures to see if their staff can recognize them. School officials say the two boys were riding black e-bikes during the crime. If you recognize their clothing or helmets, it could help investigators in this case. The early numbers, they are in and the polls leading up to the Iowa caucuses. Didn't lie, it was a good night for former President Donald Trump. Scripps News' Joe St. George has more for us from Des Moines. In the end, former President Donald Trump did what the polls predicted he would in the state of Iowa. Win his first political victory since he lost the 2020 election. The victory further cementing his frontrunner status for the Republican nomination. I would like a win so big um, that, frankly, everybody realized the race is over and we can start kind of, you know, taking the fight. To, to Joe Biden. It's too early to say who else has momentum coming out of Iowa other than Trump. Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis both battling for second place and now reviewing what is working in their campaign and what is not. This is your chance to show the power of your voice and this is your chance to lead the way to get our country back on track. 40 delegates to the Republican National Convention were up for grabs in Iowa. Those delegates will now be divided among all the candidates with the winner getting the most. The campaign's now quickly focusing on New Hampshire, which is next up on the political calendar. The leading candidates will be on the ground in that state by Tuesday night. The New Hampshire primary is a week from Tuesday on January 23rd. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Des Moines. And looking ahead in the race for the White House, we have learned Donald Trump will be in Arizona later next week. If you feel like you're spending a small fortune to feed your family, you are not alone. New research from Help Advisor found the average household spends more than $1,000 per month on groceries. Arizona was no exception. People here are spending an average of $271 per week on groceries. This winter hasn't been as snowy as last year's, but there is some optimism on the slopes of the White Mountains. Sunrise Park Resort in Greer has picked up 68 inches of natural snowfall so far, which is a bit below average and well below the amount they got last winter. It's not ideal, but Sunrise has been investing in infrastructure snowmaking machines, lift overhauls, and an extensive remodel of the lodge. They say the $10 million they spent over the past three years is already paying dividends. Had over a 400% increase in the last three years and visitorship. Uh, it's really just been remarkable. Over at Arizona Snowball and Flagstaff, snowfall amounts have been even lower. They're only picking up 56 inches of snow so far this season. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Get ready for a gorgeous day. It's going to be a little warmer, too. That temperature could hit 70 for the first time this year. Phoenix will briefly reach the 70s, it looks like. We'll be into the low 60s by lunchtime today. And then that high peaks by the middle of the afternoon with temperatures right back into the mid-60s by 6 p.m. as we head to just sunset and beyond it. So cooling off nicely this evening. A great day to be outside. And that'll be the case across northern Arizona, too, with highs in the 40s to 50s up north, 49 for Flagstaff 56 for Payson. We are going to stay dry through the weekend. We get warmer as high pressure builds in mid to upper 70s for highs by Thursday and Friday 50s in the high country through the end of the week. And then you'll notice those temperatures start to come down this weekend with highs falling into the upper 60s by Sunday here in the valley as rain chances go up Sunday and Monday of next week. And we're also going to see a better chance for snow in the high country as early as Sunday, but continuing through early next week as well. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to abc15.com or download the free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 flash briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford.